Welcome again to Reverse Osmosis Superstore. Our domain is reverseosmosis.com. You know, a lot of people uh, want to boost the water pressure going into the RO systems. Ideally, all RO systems need about 40 PSI. Some country wells fall a little bit short, uh, and even some municipal waters do. Uh, that's the reason we've got the non-electric permeate pump. Uh, it's an interesting thing. It looks it's about the size of a softball. And of course the guys at the warehouse can attach it to the frame uh, so that it's uh, you know, right there as part of the unit, shipped out that way, makes it simple. But what this does, what it, reverse osmosis systems, obviously they reject the bad stuff, the contaminants, the chemicals down the drain. And that drain water is actually plugged in through this and it turns gears in there. That And the other side it's using the feed water and forcing water through the system. It uh, actually adds if it's 30 uh, PSI well pressure, it's more like it's 45 or 50. So it's a really nice option. Usually adds about $70 to the cost of the unit and a lot of people like it. It does boost the efficiency of the system uh, and just does a really great job. We've got the non-electric and then we have the uh, Aquatech 6800 and 8800. This is also attached to the frame uh, and this does it electrically. Some situations electric uh, pump is, is a better option uh, but it does exactly the same thing. It forces water through there. If your uh, water pressure going in lacks a little bit, well this should make up the difference uh, and it does it quite easily. Uh, the pumps added to a system they are one year part warranties on those uh, and they do a very nice job. They last a very long time and do a very good job. Thank you again.